What's up, Cereal Bows? It is your favorite crazy cereal, Insane Applejacks, here once again for another video. And this is to make up for Atomic Monday, so yay! Getting the video makeup done in the same week that the video was supposed to occur. That is always beautiful. How are you all doing? Because I am doing super duper great, just in case you were wondering. And it is Good to be back for my beautiful Cereal Bowl Nation, the greatest nation on YouTube, if you did not know. But, hey, if you're new here, we'll, we'll give you that pass. Anyways, if you saw the title here today, you know I'm probably not going to be as over the top. Well, I'm going to try to tone it down so I can seem serious about the topic, but... It's one of those things that's been popping up lately in my feed over and over again and today people were talking about it at school and it just popped up in my feed again and I had a plan for tonight's video but I was just like whoa 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 okay this is starting to get on my nerves it's out of proportion that I keep seeing this over and over again because legitimately when I saw this video I I disagreed with it and well, I agree, it is YouTube, and it is a social media-based lifestyle nowadays that we do have. Certain things, I'm not going to say certain things shouldn't be made, but certain things should be thought about in a different sense. Okay, so, if you can't tell by now, I'm talking about the 10 hours of walking in New York as a woman video, and... Maybe you saw it, maybe you haven't. It has a few million views off of a day? Damn, son. Uh, and, yeah, it's pretty much blown up. That's what I can say off that. And, basically, this lady walks around downtown in New York, or just in New York from what I can tell. And she walks around perfectly silent, dressed up from what she's saying, and... These clothing, you can go watch it yourself if you want to see what she's actually wearing. And she's like, oh, well, all these people are just talking to me and it's harassment and all this other stuff and the cat call and this. And she wants to get on like this really high pedestal to a stint. Wait, wait, wait. Let me stop myself right there. Before we go any further into this video, if you are listening, know that this is all my opinion, so do take it with a grain of salt. Don't sit up here and just be like, oh well, Apple, where, you know, she was right. You need to shut the fuck up. Because, hey, you could agree with her. I'm just saying. This is my opinion, though. So, <laughs> okay. So, legitimately, I will admit there were some people who might have said something out of line towards her. And at the same time, I feel like there's always going to be someone who says something out of line towards you when you're a person that looks nice in a general sense. But, or when you're just a person, period, you're always going to have something that seems out of line said to you. But here's the thing to me, when is it too far? When is something far enough to be considered sexual harassment? Because nowadays it seems like people just sit up here and use this term for just about any fucking thing. Go ahead, go ahead and think about it. You know you have that one friend who sits up here in any joking situation. Oh. Sexual harassment. And this wouldn't be so annoying if they didn't have to make such a big deal about it. It wouldn't be so annoying if this wasn't such a big video in such a short time and all this other stuff. It's just the fact that the way that it's portrayed. So you cut 10 minutes down to a two minute video, basically. You're telling me in 10. Oh, my bad. I said 10 minutes. 10 hours down to a two minute video. In 10 hours of your whole experience walking down town in 
New York. Or wherever you were in New York. I'm sorry. If I'm getting some of these facts wrong, you know. I wasn't there for the whole video. I wasn't there for the whole 10 fucking hours. I just know the two minute story she wanted to show us. But I digress. You're telling me for this whole time, you only saw people of guys that were either black or Hispanic. No, no white dudes up in there. No, no love for them on the camera. Ain't none of them trying to get at you. Legit question. I mean, you saying you was looking so good at the beginning of the video. What, what was up, Miami? I'm just saying. I'm just saying, if you don't sit up here and you don't get on people talking about, hey, hello, you you look so good, hey girl, and all this other stuff, sit up here and at least be fair about it if you're going to make a video about this, and get everyone in this. Also, don't tell me you walked around for 10 fucking hours and you only got two minutes of usable footage just to show me your point. Okay, and most of that two minutes is the same people over and over again. Oh, this guy was walking by me for five minutes. Yeah, that's hella creep. Is it sexual harassment? Maybe, maybe not. We don't have enough context to notice shit. Oh, this one guy, he said, hello. Hello, hell fucking low. Uh, a greeting so another thing if you watch this video you know exactly why I'm getting pissed off at this part there's this one dude who actually approached her now this video is supposed to about, be about the catwalk and objectifying women and all this utter craziness right and the mental state of our society and how we need to be on equal playing grounds in order to, you know, move forward as a people. But if you want to talk about that, really, really think about how petty you fucking sound to sit up here and even get up on a dude to sit up here and approach you in a nice manner. I mean, really. This dude sat up here and he walked up, he was like, hello, and all this other stuff. He got into a whole God bless and all this thing, and in the article I have pulled up right now, my bad, it's like, the main image they have highlighted is the one dude I'm talking about, and it's like, God bless you, mommy, right? And I don't see too much of an issue with that. And... Some of the female friends I've talked to about this earlier in class and stuff, they didn't see an issue with this. But they basically blew this out of proportion saying even hello can be fucking sexual harassment. And it's crazy. Have we really digressed that much as a society that a fucking greeting can make someone feel sexually harassed? I mean, because... Nowadays, it seems like people are sitting up here using sexual harassment, a term meant for actual harassment of a sexual type, as an excuse for not talking to someone. Oh, um, you're not my type. Let's see. Yeah. I feel like I am currently being threatened by whatever you are trying to approach me with, so let's just mark it as sexual harassment. But legitimately, I bet you if some dude that was exactly her type would have walked up and said the same words, she would have been going. It wouldn't have been like, oh, hello, <laughs> sexual, no, no. Because when we cross the line where everyday words become this type of thing where you can't even say them without worrying about someone classifying you as a sexual assault or assaulter. I'm sorry if my words are not coming out as clear as I want to, but this has just blown me. Like, 
it completely got on my nerve. Like, when? How, how are we supposed to communicate? How are we supposed to deliver unique and great ideas with one another to advance what we think as a society to move forward if we can't even fucking greet each other? Why does everything have to be such a thought where it's a black and white area until you get to this one section? Oh, well, I mean, no one ever told me that. I mean, should we really even have to say that stuff is like this? Why are you on such a high pedestal? And I know somebody's like, well, you're just overreacting, you're snapping off and all this stuff. But if you see this, then you'll get why I'm snapping. Because is it really such a crime to be interested in someone? I mean, I know there's a right way to do it. And I'm not in any way defending the dudes that were sitting up here catcalling. I mean... There is obviously a better way to grab the attention of someone that you are interested in. But my thing is, if you're not interested in what is being done, do you necessarily have to label it as sexual harassment to get across the point that you don't like it? I mean, why can't it just be an unenjoyable experience? Why, why does it have to be under this harsh term? I mean, going back to my example of if it was a different person with all the qualities that you enjoyed and they sat up here and they were doing this whole little you dig, you would sit up here and you would be flying over things. What, why? Why can't you just tell the person that is throwing themselves out there Rather, it's through crude comments like, hey, mommy, and all this other stuff, and be like, well, I'm just not interested, instead of labeling them as a harasser. Because, I mean, if I sat up here and I found out someone was labeling me as a harasser, I'd be looking at them like, well, damn. Because legit, you just sat up here and you took shit too fucking serious, and... I'm sorry, I know everyone doesn't have the same sensitivity levels, but when you get on bullshit like this, and people can't just have an ordinary conversation anymore, it's what scares people from trying to approach people nowadays. I mean, on a daily basis, I want to say I t interact with maybe 50 plus people. And that's because walking back and forth between the campus buildings. And, I mean, like, 50 new people. But my thing is, why should I have to go out there into the environment and worry about my hellos coming off as something rude or abrupt to them that makes them feel sexually threatened? Why do we always have to bring such a topic into it as a defense mechanism? If you really want to have a defense against something, why can't you think of a greater idea or something to fend this off? Must you always sit up here and bring sexual harassment in as a fucking shield? I mean, after all, there are greater things out there in the world. People say those... There are many people whose minds are just bent on sex, but at the same time, those who are ready just to openly jump to its sexual harassment for any form of action, they're just as bad as those with nothing but sex on the mind, in my opinion. And legitimately, this whole video might not have made sense to you and all this other junk, but I'm just saying... We need to get shit right. We need to, like, literally set some defined stuff down. Like, if you're going to sit up here and you're going to have people up here talking all this extra-ish about this, then 
set a determined guideline. Because last time I checked, there was no fucking such thing. Ooh, got me up here so irritated that I am cursing in the wrong orders. But there is no such thing as an orderly conversation. There are proper places for conversations, but there is no such thing saying what you can and can't conversate about. People do have their limits on what they are and aren't comfortable with conversating about, but that's personal fucking preference. And with all that being said, I'm going to catch you all at the end of the box. What's up, Serial Bowls? Welcome back to the end of the box where we just set up here and finished another video. I appreciate you all making it this far in the video and getting to the end of the box. So big thumbs up to all of you. Much love and all that. And if you set up here and you enjoyed the video or if you agree with my opinion, sit up here and give this video a thumbs up. And, you know... Also, I don't want this to just be a one-sided thing, so if you have an opinion about the video, any outlooks, please leave the comments down below. I will check them all. I will try to respond to them as fast as possible. I want to hear what you all think about this. And share this video and get some people in on the actual conversation. So, you know, as I said, this was just my opinion, so if you got offended by it, I do apologize, but it is my opinion. So... And with all that being said, and my appreciation for you all being known, the best nation in the world, Serial Bowls, I'm going to sit up here and do my advertisement. Everyone, if you aren't already, check out my social medias, which are on this side, which include my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Twitch. You can sit up here and you can catch me on all of those. Sit up here, hit me with a message or a post. And if you're on Twitch, sit up here and catch the live streams sometimes, usually on Saturdays or Sundays of the week now. And finally, if you're new here, sit up here and go check on that box right below it that says join the Serial Bowl Nation. If you really enjoyed this, show the Serial Bowl Nation some love and become a subscriber. Become another Serial Bowl. And with all that being said, <laughs> I hope you all have a good one. And catch you later. Peace.